darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today we are back for another brand new video or a brand new fan rant as it seems to be going this way again eh? it's very fucking familiar yeah let me run a wee scenario by you at home versus a team that's being forced to defend deep playing one up front not changing the stuff that isn't working until we go behind i know it's almost like exactly what i said last week after celtic got the man sent off and they started dropping deep and defending murray waited and he waited and he waited and he waited and he done the wee passes left and right left and right what happened they scored, we make a sub, put two up front. What happened today? They scored, we made the change, we put two up front. 60 minutes too fucking late. Like, I'm really trying not to be overly negative about Murray, because like I say, I really like the man, but come on new boys, just please. Murray really tricked me, this whole Murray mania and the stuff that we always started speaking about really got me, because when you go back and you just look, the inability and the inexperience that he seems to just have, and he doesn't learn from his mistakes, that's his biggest flaw, you can see he's inexperienced, of course says this is his first management job, but he just doesn't fucking learn, he, and it's costing us points and points and points, we should have won the game last week, I think personnel, especially being uh, having a man extra, we definitely should have won that game, but what did we end up having, three shots on target at home? Versus fucking Kilmarnock. Before we actually go any further, I just want to quickly say to Steve Clark and Kilmarnock, what an absolute professional performance. We all knew exactly how you were going to play, because let's be honest, we knew they were going to sit with eight men behind the ball, focus on Jordan Jones beating his one or two men that's going to be on him, and then free off Chrissy Boyd to get an opportunity. That's what they've done each and every single time, but every man done his job. If you're a defender, you defended. Midfield player, you've created. If you're a striker, you scored goals. Everybody did their job, they were well drilled, and they knew what to do. Steve Clark knew exactly the perfect position and the, the perfect plan to play against Rangers. He would have saw it last week how he beat us, and he did it. So shout out to Stevie Clark. Someone that I genuinely hope is going to be the next Rangers manager. Because he's just got to, he makes it, oh he's too defensive. Look at Walter Smith's games. He wasn't attacking. Alright, I know some of you may not remember, but he was very, very negative, very defensive football. One or two nils. But wins were wins. I'd rather win that way than play this expansive left to right, left to right. Oh, look at what we're doing. Same shite. This is usually the part where I jump in. I say, oh, but this guy played well. He done all right. He done all right. How can you pick anyone from there? Maybe Doherty, if you're really, really stretching and you really want to be overly positive, you say, Greg Doherty, you run your wee heart out and you occasionally done wee bits nice stuff. The rest of them, fuck me. Can we just talk about the starting 11? So Jason Cummins were playing, we were all excited. I was absolutely delighted. But I didn't know that we were just going to abandon all the fucking service. And not just that, it wasn't just the lack of service that Cummins got once again, it was just the lack of everything. So I'm not going to do that today, you know what I mean? I'm not going to reach, I'm just going to be blatantly obvious and painfully truthful. It was pathetic. We weren't there unlucky, the ref was not against us. We were just shite. Do you know what's harder than trying to pick someone out for playing uh, good in that game? Is actually picking... They're cut the occasional one or two free players I like to say really played bad. Because if I'm being honest with you, right through the 11, part for Doherty, you could name any of them. I thought, I was even disappointed with Kandias, and I'm not, and Kandias is like Mr. Papach in the midfield, does have rank, but even he was off game the day. I don't know what it was, it was, I don't know if it was a motivational hang, I know we're all down, especially after the Celtic game, right, I understand that, as fans, listen, I, I feel the pain today, just like you, you people, we were all kind of down in the dumps. The manager, the staff, the players have got to sight their cell up, where's the captain, where's the boys that's getting their fucking in people's faces and saying, where are you in this game, you fucking ghost bitch? Where are they? Because I didn't see them. It looked like a team that had been, went on a wee half that was still doing in the dumps about Sunday. No motivation, they couldn't be bothered. After the first 15, 20 minutes where they played semi-good to maybe even good. After that, they never scored. They were like, Ken what? this is New Year's Day. Eh. Shite. If you'd missed the game, congratulations. And that's all I've got to really say on the game. I could pick out one or two players if you wanted to. Really quickly, I'd say Bruno Alves and Martin. We saw it, it didn't work, no thank you, nope, never again. 
they're really, really slow, right? We understand that. But I think if you put Martin next to McCrory, Martin next to Bates, you've got a good partnership there. Or maybe even Bruno next to Bates. The two of them, they, they want to do the same thing. They want to take the ball and they want to hit a pass. Every single time. You can't play them. They're too similar and they just aren't good enough together, in my personal opinion. I put up like a sarcastic tweet, making a fool of them. And all these Celtic fans are now retreating it, thinking I was being serious. If you were watching the game, you'd have seen they were sloppy in their possession and they were sloppy in their passing. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, Goss, I don't know what's going on with him. Since he's got, since that whole hang where he's definitely not coming here, he just hasn't played a game, good game since. Genuinely, hasn't he? He was dreadful again tonight. And I really like Goss. Murphy, a couple of nice wee runs, but I'm starting to see that hang that Mullerwell fans always say that Aye, he's good, he just runs into wee right, right in the defenders. I see what he seems to do. Cut back, hit the pass. Seems to do every time. Windass, unfortunately, that was all of Josh Windass. There's Windass and there's Bango Boy. Hey, we reverted back to Bango Boy. Invisible. Cummins tried absolutely zero service. And I hate this thing that people are now jumping on saying, if Morello's played, we'd have played better. Bull fucking shit. All right? Steve Clark's Kilmarnock won that game. They knew everything we were doing before we even tried it. All right? Morelos wouldn't have made that much of a difference. If you play them beef, then that's a whole new dynamic to our attack and our midfield. That changes everything. But for one for one, they knew what to do. They doubled up. They fucking, they doubled up on them a whole entire time. Whoever was playing up front would have got the exact same thing. So I didn't want to hear that argument. I didn't want to see that excuse. Murray was outcoached and the players were outfought. That's what I've got to say about today's game. And so you know what? To even make things somehow worse, isn't it? Jordan Ross are retweeting a fucking Celtic thing. Danny worry. We'll speak about that real soon, probably tomorrow. It's time of day sponsor break. I've not got any fucking water left. That's it. Sponsor break. Do you know what really annoys me? Occasionally I'll see the one or two tweet or maybe a comment or something saying, Oh, you love it when Rangers lose. You get me views. That's actually how they sound when I read it out of my mind. And I'm just like, are you for f you can watch these videos, go back and look at all my losses, you can genuinely see happiness or I'm happy that we lost because we got more views. I'd rather get fucking eight views and six of them being myself on other accounts and Rangers win than get 55,000 on that fucking fan rant I'd done a couple of days ago. Yes, that was only 55 we got this season, didn't it? <laughs> so strap that pish in. The part's fucking dreadful. Right, Twitter, fun. Robbie McFern, I want my Pedro back. Someone says, oh, that's bad enough. That, oh, oh, it's not that bad enough yet. Robbie McFern says, out of the nine losses, Murray has cost seven of them. Do the math. M at Musco1872 says, shite. David Brown, aka Sharp Div. Sorry, I just read out your real name. Wrong decision to drop Morelos. If you're going to play Cummins, he needs a partner. Kevin Wakesham says, only one player gets past marks, Greg Dockery, what else can be said? Peter Ramsey says, recap, our season is over. I think that was on Sunday. You know what, I really tricked myself, I was like, we're going to see the disappointment, we're going to see all these fucking boys come out and show that we can get out the mental of losing to Celtic. We will come back, we will bounce, we will see the true character. I said it in the other day's video, we will see the character of Murray and the players. It's the biggest game after losing that and what happened, we got fucking beat at home. Three shots on target to kill his eight or five or whatever the fuck it was. I don't care. Look, ow. What's this? Look, look at this. Matt Menzies says I clapped the boy off. Jordan Smith said shocking performance. Best player on the pitch was Dockery. Get Steve uh, get Steve Clark, Jones and Malumbu in the summer. Jay Fletcher says today we've seen a manager who will win 55. And who is totally, and who is totally tactically inept. Good one. I like that one. Gav says shit. Gutless, boneless pricks. Rangers Loyal says, fucking horrid game. Steve Clark should be our next appointment. Andrew Wilson said, I missed the game. I think I was lucky. You fucking were. Back to back weekends. Absolutely fucking wrecked. Steve Brown says, you could do our shortest video ever and recap say one word pish and bye bye. Yep. Andy at Sponsor Break RFC. This is embarrassing. And Ian McDougall says, three shots on target at home. Kelly had five. All right, five, eight. It was close. No service to the front. Passing was woeful. Maybe too many believe in their own hype. The only one who looked up for it was Doc. Shambolic display all around. Have back marks, but beginning to see what a lot have said lately. And you know what? I know if I drag the video out, I'll get paid more, whatever. But I can't be bothered. You know, it's really fucking annoyed me the day again. So, I've been sieging over 92. That's been Rocky. That's been Andy. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye. <laughs>